Hi, welcome back. Today is Tip Tuesday and so glad that you can join us this week. Last week we were talking about purchasing a mobile home or a manufactured home and owning the land that it's on. This week is part two and we're gonna be discussing purchasing a mobile home or a manufactured home on lease land. So the contracts are similar as if you're purchasing a regular home or a mobile home manufactured home on the land that you own. There are contingency timeframes that are basically the same, but there's four points that I wanna bring out today that are different than buying a home on the land that you own. The first one is park approval. When you're purchasing a mobile home in a park, you're buying the mobile home, but you're leasing the land, which means you're like a tenant. So you have to get park approval and park Park approval means you have to fill out an application, you have to give them all your credit, same thing as like applying for a loan or applying for a house to rent, and they have to qualify you to live in the park. Now, each park in Monterey County has different requirements that have to be met in order to be approved to live in the park, but this is a contingency of purchasing this mobile home. We always recommend to get park approval prior to making an offer because it could take a week or two to get that approval, and if you are Already submit an offer with the park approval in hand, it's going to give you a little bit more buying power than maybe another buyer who hasn't got the park approval yet. If you have a certain park in mind that you would like to move into, we recommend doing those steps first before making an offer on a property. The different requirements could be different income requirements, different credit score. It's not as strict as maybe applying for a loan. I've had clients that have had bankruptcies on their credit and they were really worried about getting approved and then the park actually approved them to live there so it wasn't an issue we just wrote a letter of explanation explaining why they had to have a bankruptcy and the park was really understanding and in the end approved them to live in that park so each park has different requirements another thing that's interesting is the park space rent in monterey county hugely varies there's some parks that charge 450 approximately and there's other parks that charge as high as 1500. It depends on the amenities that the park offers. It depends on the location. There's a lot of different factors involved, but that space rent is on top of any mortgage or loan payment that you're going to be paying. In addition to that space rent, they're also going to charge you utilities. So you're separately metered, but the park is the one who sends you the bill. You don't have an open account with pg e like you would if you were living in a regular single family home. The second thing is that mobile home that's on leased land is actually governed by the state and not by the county. So you aren't on county tax rolls. You actually pay a registration fee yearly to HCD. It's similar like the DMV, but it is a department that actually governs over mobile homes. So every year you would pay that registration fee. The third thing that I wanna discuss is this is also a contingency and typically the seller is responsible for it is that the park has to do a physical inspection on that property in order for that property to transfer ownership to a new buyer if we have the listing we always recommend our seller get that park inspection up front so we're able to address any issues before going on the market but just so you know it is a contingency in the contract that the park inspection needs to be completed. And it's also pre-written that the seller is to take care of any requirements that the park requires. That can be negotiated. The fourth item is loan. If you're not going to be paying cash for this mobile home on lease land, you're probably gonna wanna get a loan. So it's the same process as if you were buying a home, but it's a different type of lender. You can only use a lender that loans on mobile homes or manufactured homes, and from my knowledge there isn't anyone locally that does that we do have a list of mobile home lenders throughout California that we've had success with in closing these loans and we've been very impressed by the way that they do their business. So we could always refer you to somebody if you're looking to purchase a mobile home with a loan. From what I've seen it's a minimum of 5% down, but it can go upwards of 35%. These lenders all have different criterias that have to be met, but it's the same as pulling credit, tax returns, income verification, and assets. 
I have seen that these mobile home loans are slightly higher than getting a traditional loan on a home. So just to clarify, you will be required to pay your space rent plus your utilities to the mobile home park that the property is located in and pay your mortgage payment to the lender that loans you the money to purchase the home. So you will have two payments. So hopefully that answered your questions of mobile homes part two of purchasing a mobile home on lease land. Thanks again for tuning in. This is the Homes by Henson team, Vanco Real Estate Executives. Please be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification as we post these every Tuesday. Thanks again for joining and we'll see you next week.